Welcome to my world. We're going to talk mainly about military vehicles, solar power, and self-sufficiency. But I also like to live life to its fullest potential. I do this through music. Specifically, I'm a drummer. Music runs through my veins, and I'm also going to discuss the various equipment I use and throw in a few covers. Hope you enjoy. Welcome to the channel. Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper. What I'm going to do today is step you through some of the modifications I made for my diesel heating unit that kind of makes it easier to hook up and disconnect. So basically the heating unit comes with this display, power display, right here. And this display is hooked up to some wires. I extended these wires 25 feet to this plug right here which is part of a connector and this connector is right here it's a waterproof connector so I can easily just disconnect and connect the display unit and I can run this 25 foot of cord into my trailer and have my display inside the trailer if I'm going to heat this or if I heat it in some other kind of uh, structure I could have the display right there and the way that's powered, uh, usually you have to have it wired up to power. So I hooked up a cigarette lighter plug right here to this section right here, which is the display. And I get to use this DC cigarette lighter plug. And you see both of them have cigarette lighter to cigarette lighter. You can plug this side in here. And then this other other side of going to my solar battery box cigarette lighter. Uh, so that works out really nice. The second modification I did is something similar but very easy. Uh, I had to solder these wires, by the way. And I'm not a great solderer, but it worked. Uh, this one right here, this cigarette uh, lighter is for a diesel heating pad. So if you see on my tank, this heating pad sticks to the tank and it turns on at 45 degrees and it shuts off at 68 degrees. So this way I don't have to worry about diesel freezing if I'm going to use this like in some very very cold uh, environments. So I basically have two lines running from there. It's these two right here. Red is positive, white negative, and I have them hooked into this cigarette lighter unit in the back of it. And then similar, I have another one like this, and this will be powered, that heating pad will be powered by another cigarette lighter on my solar battery box. So really cool modifications to make it a lot easier to hook up. Uh, really pleased with it. I haven't seen anybody do the heating pad on the on the diesel heating tanks, but uh, it's not a bad idea if you if you have one of these things to do it, especially if you're operating in very cold environments. All right, everyone, just short video let you know what's happening. Vermont Prepper out. As always, keep prepping. <laughs>